guys, it's Amanda with Mahart Associates, Team TLC, your Tampa Bay Realtors. Today, I'm at Pasco Veterinarian Medical Center with my dog, A's in your face. Hey, buddy. So, with a lot of homeowners, especially when you're coming to a new area, you're wondering what veterinarian you're gonna take your fur baby to. So I wanted to take a minute to introduce you to my favorite vet, Dr. Marlene Siegel. I want to take a minute and introduce you to my favorite vet, Dr. Marlene Siegel. Dr. Marlene is an expert in advanced Western and alternative medicine. Her main focus is finding the root cause of disease. Dr. Marlene? Hi, Amanda. Thank you for coming in today. And thank you, Ace, for being such a good boy. He's just hanging out with us. It's a miracle. There you go. Well, here he goes. <laughs> Hi, we're talking about you. So what do you want to talk about? I want to talk about the integrated medicine. So most veterinarians and actually most human practitioners are taught how to treat symptoms. So they, they see a symptom, they name it, they blame it, and then they come up with a pill for the ill or a diet for the disease or some kind of a treatment. But what they don't do is actually treat the underlying cause. Why did that symptom show up to begin with? And that's the difference between what I do in integrated medicine, is I focus on finding what the root cause of the disease is, so we actually fix the root cause of the disease, and that way it doesn't keep coming back as either a relapse or some kind of a new problem. What are you finding most with the household animals now, as far as allergies and things like that go? Well, the number one thing we're seeing right now is cancer. Uh, cancer rates in dogs right now are one out of 1.65. So nearly 100% of our dogs will get cancer. Cats are one out of three. So we're talking extremely high rates. And I've been practicing almost 40 years. And we've never seen cancer rates that high. Then if we include allergies, autoimmune disease, GI disease, skin problems, ear infections, overweight, it's near an arthritis. It's nearly 100% of the animals that we're dealing with that are having some kind of a health challenge. So one of my favorite stories with Dr. Marlene was with my dog, Melvin. Let's talk about Melvin's case a little bit because Melvin made record breakings here. He did. So when we first met Melvin, Melvin was grossly overweight and he was eating processed foods and which has no enzymes to aid in digestion. It has exceedingly high amount of sugar in it and I think everybody nowadays understands that sugar is not healthy for you whether you're two-legged or four-legged. And it was not organic so it was loaded with hormones, chemicals, and toxins. So we ended up converting Melvin onto a raw diet and he lost a dog in the yes. process. He yes. looked amazing. And then one day he ended up rupturing his cruciate ligament. And surgery wasn't an option, so we had to really go out of the box to come up with the treatment for Melvin. So he was the first case that we had of a cruciate injury that we didn't do surgery, we did alternative practices like our magnosphere and laser and supplementation. And he recovered in 10 weeks. He was 100% weight bearing and never had another lame day. He, did, he played with my brother, who was a puppy at the time, six months old, and love him for full weight and just full force. And it happened in 10 weeks yes. with not that much care. I think I only saw him twice a week for therapy. Yes. It's just amazing. And yeah. that is what's really made me open up and tell everybody about my personal experiences with Dr. Marlene. Because sometimes surgery is not an option. Sometimes you don't want to put your pet through it. And I just think Dr. Marlene's wonderful. So I wanted you to meet her. Thank you. Well, I look forward to meeting all of you and welcome to our area. And I really do want to inspire pet parents to understand what is the biology of your pet and what can you do to keep your pet truly healthy so we're not chasing down symptoms and trying to treat them. We want to prevent disease. We want to see our animals live in a thriving state, not just surviving. We want them to be healthy and happy and live the longest life that they can live. Do you know how long a cat should live to, Amanda? I would say about 20, 21 years. There is a cat in the World Guinness Book of Records that was clocked in at 38 years and oh three days. Gosh. And there's another cat that lived up to be 34 years of age. 
and they were owned by a plumber in Texas. So it's not really that hard. We just have to learn what are we doing in our world that is so toxic that is shortening our lifespans of ourselves and of our fur babies. Because right now, our dogs are living seven years shorter than they did 20 years ago. And 100% due to toxicity. Yes. And I know with Melvin, Melvin lived an additional three years than what we, he would have prior to seeing Dr. Marlene. And he was a happy, thriving, uh, yes. amazing dog. Yes, he became our star. <laughs> we still have his story. Yes, he's famous. He is. And how many countries now? Oh, I think um, 191 countries. Wow. Yeah, I, I spoke at The Truth About Cancer and it was aired to 191 countries. So everybody saw Melvin's story. Thank you guys. Again, if you're looking for an awesome vet, come see Dr. Marlene at Pasco Veterinary Medical Center. 4525, 4575, she knows how to get here. Tell that cat. 4575 Pet Lane, and you can find us on the internet at pascovet.com. Thanks for watching my video today. Please click the like and subscribe button here, and don't forget to click the bell so you'll get notification of any future videos. Thank you, and have a great day. Hey guys, if you enjoyed that video, please check out our other videos right here.